Someone asked me about projection after BBL. Projection is not attainable to the same degree for everyone. That means that, in other words, some patients can get more projection and other patients will not get as much projection. And it's not really up to the patient, it's not really up to me, it just happens to be the genes that, that you have. And so for patients that have more stretch marks or for patients that are softer or more lax, that tissue is just a little bit more distensible, it will expand after I inject the fat, then those patients will have more projection than other patients whose tissue is tighter. And so I'll usually go over that during the consultation. If I'm concerned that I think a patient won't have as much projection as they can because their tissue is a little bit tight, then I will tell the patient, listen, I'm going to give you as much projection as I can. I'm going to put as much fat in as I can, but I just may not be able to get the amount of distension. That tissue will not be able to move as much because it's tighter. And I'll sometimes tell patients, it's like trying to stretch a leather belt. You know, there's just no give to that tissue. There's no forgiveness. Other patients are the opposite. It's like blowing up a balloon. You put fat in there and the tissue just expands. So a lot of projection after BBL is gonna depend on the quality of your own tissue. I always fill everybody up. It's just that some patients will get more projection than other patients depending on the quality of their tissues.